Well, the White House is getting, quote, geeked out as President Obama hosts the fourth annual White House Science Fair. This year, the spotlight is on girls excelling in science, technology, engineering, and math. This is our motion sensor, and um, it detects rising water, and when it detects rising water, these two bridge pieces will raise up. <laughs> they call themselves the Lego Queens. This Girl Scout troop designed a prize-winning flood-proof bridge. The girls say the idea came to them after they noticed flood waters washing out bridges and keeping first responders from reaching certain communities. MIT-bound teens Olivia Van Amsterdam and Caitlin Sweeney built this robot to help search and rescue divers stay safe in icy waters. What happens a lot is people will see a hole in the ice and call 911 whether or not they've seen someone fall through, and that puts a diver in a really dangerous situation. Let it go. Nine-year-old Maria Haynes is a huge football fan. Her passion for the game and accidentally dropping her cell phone inspired the concussion cushion. She added a soft layer to the outside of hard helmets, testing her theory with foam and gel padding. So the gel ab really absorbed the impact and dispersed it while the foam kind of absorbed it but sent it right back. Although this year the focus is on girls in science, plenty of boys got into the action as well, like Peyton Robertson. He designed these sandless sandbags using polymer and salt. They're also reusable after they dry out. Deirdre Carrillo helps build and race electric cars. Battery management comes into this, a lot of strategy, because it, it's batteries and it's, we want it to be efficient. It's that kind of thinking the White House hopes these science fairs will continue to foster for years to come. And the administration recognizing 100 award-winning students from 30 states.